Welcome, everyone. We appreciate you all being here at our fifth annual Strength in the Face of Adversity Luncheon benefiting Judy's House and Jag Institute. I'm Brooke, and this is Brian. Uh, we are the co-founders of Judy's House. And we're excited to have all of you here today. And today, what is so exciting is that I really consider this luncheon, this gathering of our biggest supporters and our community, as kind of our victory lap for the organization. It's a chance to celebrate the hard work of our incredible team and to thank our generous supporters. But it's also awesome to be up here uh, with Brooke, as you mentioned, founding this organization together. Uh, it's kind of been um, our life's work and our passion. And so to be up here with you today is apropos. We also want to give a huge heartfelt thank you to Connie and Alex Wiegers, our chairs for today's luncheon. Brian and I were fortunate to connect with Connie and Alex through our shared passion for creating access to mental health care for children and families and individuals in this community. And you've done a tremendous job filling this room with incredible people and, and chairing this luncheon. So thank you. If you want to stand, please, and let everyone give you your well-deserved applause. I'm excited about this year um, to honor uh, the Moody family and Moody Insurance as our uh, Healing Hand Award winners. Um, first of all, I want to thank Judy's House, uh, Brian and Brooke Greasy, the board of directors, and all their staff for this honor. Um, what an amazing group of people. Uh, every time we go there, uh, we just get wowed on everything that they're doing. It's amazing. Your mom would be so proud of this, and we appreciate everything. Every year, uh, I get charged with uh, having to tell my story. Um, Judy was my mom, and she died when I was 12. And it was the most difficult thing I ever had to deal with in my life. And I know I realize a lot of you have heard me tell the story, uh, but it's, it's always right there under the skin for me. Um, Judy's house is a culmination of my grief process to bring meaning to a tragedy that happened in my life. It started with me, and for the past eight, 17 years, uh, we've helped over 10,000 individuals. Judy is a part of our story. Judy's house is a part of our story. I am so grateful. What a gift that has been to be able to spend these 18 years doing this. And with the help of this community, and with our amazing staff and volunteers, Judy's house has grown to surpass all of our dreams for it. I am in awe of the mission that we have for this community. I feel connected to all of you in this room, so I will share with you that I myself and my family, we were clients of Judy's house six and a half years ago. So I, I also know that as I stand here in front of you, I actually am a product of this organization. They helped me put the pieces of my life back together. They helped me hold that you can have tragedy and sorrow and loss and help your children move forward. And at the same time, tap into your own true healing potential, which is my goal when I came to that organization. It's here in these therapeutic environments that families find the safety and security that they need when it feels that the world has turned upside down. It's here that in as little as 13 hours of counseling, we see that our clients show reductions in symptoms of depression, anxiety, and complicated grief. And it's here that children learn that they're not alone and that others are here to journey with them and alongside them. All of us in this room today are on that journey with the children and families of Judy's House. We are all connected to one another in helping to take bereaved children and families and changing their trajectory to a positive future. One of the things that we do here uh, at, at this luncheon is we do a football toss. They have been signed uh, by Warwick Dunn. We want to sponsor uh, 100 uh, children and 20 families. This is one of the more special individuals that you will ever meet. I played with Warwick in 2008 with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, and very quickly um, got to know Warwick and what Warwick was all about, um, the purpose that he had in his life, um, and he blew me away. Uh, Warwick started a, uh, a, a grief program in his hometown of Baton Rouge in honor of his mom. He called it Betty's Hope. It was Betty's Hope. 
it so. does very similar stuff to what Judy's house does. Yeah, and I, uh, you know, after I met you, I was like, oh my God, I, I can do this. I can go and steal Brian's program and so forth. But <laughs> I wouldn't steal, just joking. <laughs> You know, this is all really what I what I've done over the years is I'm really living through her memory. But at the same time, our homes for holidays, our homes for holidays program is really that's my therapy. That's been yeah. therapy for me for years because I'm able to live out my mom's dream of home ownership through other single parent families. Right. Well, I if you would allow me, I want to raise a toast. So everybody grab a glass. And I know there's two more glasses looking down, bud. Definitely. Betty Ann Definitely. and Judith Ann. Our moms share the same yeah. middle name, uh, but to a life uh, well lived, but an extraordinary resilience and purpose yeah. and leadership, and we won't stop working if you don't stop working. Uh, no How doubt about I that. Won't stop. Love you, brother. Love you too, brother. Oh. Thank you for continuing to promote connection in our community, for connecting to this mission, and, and for being a part of our community. We are so grateful to all of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.